I mean, throughout my life, like my artwork has shifted throughout the different eras that I lived in. And that means a lot because like, we take in so many things, we feel things, we see things, we hear things, and all those things that go inside of us, like that's what's gonna come out of us in some form. And through me, it's gonna be through my artwork. If what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing is not uh, healthy or if it's negative or depressing, then that's what's gonna come out of me. And I think there is a point in my life where that was mostly what was coming in. And that definitely brought me into a hole. That'd be a good viewpoint. I think we're gonna climb up there on that rock. I think there's a trail that goes along this side. Um, I don't know what the rest of it's gonna be like. We might have to do some climbing. We'll see. I think the depression got so, I think loud in a sort of sense that I could even like really hear what needed to come out artistically and when I did it was just like completely chaotic and almost like meaningless and I couldn't really describe what it was it just it didn't make any sense I learned from the artwork that I'm making like it's my way of talking, it's my way of like expression, but it's also my way of understanding who I am a bit more. We're gonna go that way, and then we're gonna follow that ridge line up. And then once we get about halfway, we'll have to decide how we wanna go further up. It's looking pretty intimidating right now, but we'll see as we get a closer view. So maybe seeing that form of artwork has allowed me to kind of like have it be a mirror where I'm looking, kind of like looking at myself through whatever I'm making. And maybe that can kind of frighten me because I began to realize that maybe the depression I was going through was kind of just getting too much. I really feel like it was God that kind of pulled me out of that and brought me to a new place. And now that I'm pursuing art, what I put inside me is more about His will and not my desires. Sometimes when I paint, I am painting a prayer. There is a sort of theological side to my paintings and I pray that I will understand that more. When I create, 
It is not my intention to just portray an accuracy of the physical place I am seeing, but to create a place, an angle or perspective that has a deeper symbolic meaning of our spiritual life. Because to me, these things in nature can be mirrors of our life's journey. I think that I am learning that when I create and pursue this artistic gift that God has given me, it is a reminder that I am to continually walk in the Holy Spirit, to give my gift to Him so He may use it. Christ shows us the narrow pathway. We must have faith and take our first step in it, and to pray that we have the confidence to continue it. He knows where to take us, to go higher and higher, but the pathway only gets more difficult. There may come a mist or a cloud that covers the way further, but endure. In time, the veils will be moved, let it pass. It will become clear, and we will know to go ahead our ground may become uneven. Sometimes we will have to climb and use all of our strength to get to the next place above. He will bring us to where we need. We will know. And when we get there, we will see why we came. <laughs>